Good evening, and thanks for spending part of your Tuesday evening with us. I'm Mike Hoey. And I'm Stacey De Silva. Only on Local 22, the nationwide opioid crisis is taking a turn you might not have thought of. Some pet owners using prescriptions intended for their animals to get high. Yeah, FDA Commissioner Dr. Scott Gottlieb has come out with an anti-opioid resource guide for veterinarians. A vet in Williston spoke with me about those drugs. Dr. Ben Inman at Burlington Emergency and Veterinary Specialists says opioids aren't commonly used among vets. He says many general veterinary practices don't even stock them. If you look at the list of the top nine most abused opioids in humans, none of them are ones that we regularly prescribe. Actually, the number one, which is oxycodone, isn't even effective in animals. Pets need lower dosages than their owners. Even in a large dog, the dosages of those pain medications is much lower than what a human would be taking. And out of concern for abuse, when opioids are needed for an animal, they're usually prescribed for a very short time. I know through our ER department, typically if we're sending pain medications out the door, we are only sending out about three, five days worth of pain medication at that point. Here at Bev's, Dr. Inman says the requirements for handling opioids are just as strict for veterinarians across our region as they are for doctors treating human patients. Vermont Veterinary Medical Association actually works with the Bennington Task Force um, to combat this problem. We also receive training from the DEA. The FDA resource guide we mentioned says that Vermont vets are required to report any opioid prescriptions that they write, but the Vermont Veterinary Medical Association says they're not. The group's executive director tells us, quote, several years ago the legislature looked at this and decided against including them due to the lack of evidence of diversion and the difficulty integrating animals into the prescription monitoring program program, privacy concerns for their owners. In Vermont, veterinarians are monitored by the DEA and engage in self-reporting when they suspect a problem. Dr. Inman and Kathy Finney both say that there are no known criminal complaints of drugs being diverted from Vermont vets offices. New York and New Hampshire both require their vets to report opioid prescriptions they write. There are two of only 16 states that require vets to do so.